Hello and welcome to Taylor's Holistic Approach Ministries. Today on Our Daily Dose, it's What's the Herb Thursday. My name is Jetty Taylor Robinson, health coach, founder, and steward of the ministry. This ministry is focused on gut health, the word of God, and you, his people. So we are here on a daily basis giving you health nuggets a lot to just encourage you along the way, uh, along your journey. Good morning, Ms. Kalita. How are you? Happy What's the Herb Thursday. It's great to see you. And uh, so when you enter in, so I can see your name pop up. Uh, if you would just uh, do that for me, that would be great. I keep getting some kind of Google message popping up, so it's kind of like, um, I don't know if you can see me, if it's blocking or what, but um, always issues, but that's okay. We're going to keep going on, uh, keep striving. Uh, so uh, we're going to say a word of prayer, give everybody a chance to get the alert and to enter in, and then we will start our discussion for today. Good morning, Miss Nina. Happy What's the Earth Thursday. Gracious Father, we come to you just exalting you and thanking you for all of your goodness, for all of your mercies, for all of your patience with us, oh God. We ask you right now, oh God, to just forgive us for anything that we thought that we said that we did that wasn't pleasing to you. It is our goal and our desire, oh God, to please you every day. And so we just ask you, oh God, for your help. Uh, Holy Spirit rain down on us, oh God. We just love you and we thank you for this time together. We want to ask you, oh God, for just strength for the journey because it is not easy getting rid of old habits, but we know that all things are possible through you. So we just want to just ask you to just continue to bless us and to love us as we love you like no other. Uh, bless our time together. Bless those who will be viewing, whether live or later on, um, or by YouTube. We love you and thank you. So in Jesus' name we pray and we give you all the glory and all the honor. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Miss D. So as you can see, I'm in my second location. I was like, well, you know what? We're not going to, I'm not going to try to go through the drama that I went through yesterday. I have an appointment on Saturday to check out my phone. And uh, yeah, so I just decided, you know, to just go home, uh, get dressed right quick and just jet on over here and, you know, and to meet you all over here. So with that being said, you know, I have like, there's a lot going on right now. I was up late last night. Uh, viewing the edits for my book and doing edit editing for my book. So, um, so hey, Miss D, thank you. And so it's like I was up to way past my bedtime. And then I overslept this morning, but God blessed me and I still got to work on time. So, I mean, last night. So uh, that being said, today is going to be a review day. And so these days until I get my Wi-Fi straightened up and I have to, you know, get off work and then come over here and set up and things and then working on my book. I think once I get my book, um, my book edits done and then back into the eyes of my editor, then, you know, things will calm down and then I will be able to... Uh, Go forth and do more but as for now we're just going to do some reviews i need you guys to um, give me thumbs up or give me hearts give me questions give me uh statements uh whatever so today is what's the herb thursday and so we're talking about herbs we've talked about a lot of herbs for these past few months and so what we're going to do is is we're just going to go back and we're going to review the benefits because i know some of you may have missed it or you um came in late or you didn't get a chance to review the uh the video that was set so um <laughs> you're right miss nina yes 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 we just depend on god and you know and i just thank him for waking me up because yeah i was i was gone <laughs> so um so let's go over uh and just to you know just to reiterate how uh we should just really started taking a great look at our health and I really appreciate you who are so diligent in coming on and gathering the information and asking questions and finding out new things because that's the start of it is a desire 
a lot of people don't have any desire. They they pop in and pop out. It's like, oh, she's talking about that again. I will, you know, this is my heart. This is my passion. This is my ministry. So uh, nine, uh, nine and a half times out of ten, <laughs> if you see me, if you see a live pop up, you know, it's going to be something health related because that's the charge that God has given me. And so I must stay true to the charge because it is so needed. And there's there's plans and goals and visions that he's given me. And so we're just going to go forth. But it just starts by listening, really listening to um, what God has for us and really opening our eyes uh, and opening up our hearts and our minds to really wrap our minds around it and to receive it because it's something that we've taken for granted for so long and i and i look and i look at the circumstances around us and i'm just like you know what um so you know what i was like um i was i'm sorry i was reading uh something a, a comment but uh it's just that it's just is time and so anything that I can do I always pray and I ask the Lord to just speak in me through me and in spite of me to you so that you know they said spirit reaches spirit touches spirit so you can feel my heart so you can feel the Spirit of God um, urging you encouraging you cheering you on uh, just saying you know we've come this far you know you can do it you can do it yes the road looks long but you know don't worry about that it's just step by step day by day sometimes minute by minute you know and so you know I always encourage people if you know just get healthy first yeah yes it's challenging but it's attainable and then we can treat ourselves. We can have those things that we think we'll miss, which we really won't. Uh, once your your body gets into the shape that God wants it, and I'm just talking about you know weight loss because that's a big thing. People's like, oh, I want to lose weight. I want to lose weight, and I keep preaching that you know just get healthy, and your your body will settle in on the weight that your frame and everything is meant to be. But the thing about it is, is so many people are trying to lose weight quickly and they don't realize that, you know, it's disturbing your inside because the body has a process of ridding, ridding your, your system of toxins. And so when you lose weight too fast, it kind of overloads your system because now it's got all this stuff coming at it because you're doing all these things and you're trying to lose weight and you're putting un, unneeded, unwanted stress on your body from the inside. So a lot of times, you know, thin doesn't necessarily mean heavy, I mean, mean healthy. And a lot of people think so. It's like, oh, she's so thin, she can eat anything. Um, hey, little sissy, <laughs> little, little sissy. I was reading your, I was reading your comments <laughs> at the same time I was kind of trying to say sissy. Hello, sister, it's good to see you. Uh, Yes, that's it. It's it just everybody goes at a different pace. Uh, Miss Nina was saying she's got to move and slowly uh, make changes in her diet, and that's it because you can't, you know, you can't necessarily do what the next person does. You know, your outcome won't be as quickly or as slowly or whatever. Everybody's different. God made all of us unique, and that's why it's up to us to find our own balance and find out what works for us. So, you know, you might try this and try that, but that's why he makes it so simple and just eating the, you know, the variety of fruits and vegetables and herbs and spices that he prepared for us before we were born. And so, you know, before he made mankind, he made all of this because he knew what our bodies required. And so we just have to go back to square one, go back to the beginning, and then just train our bodies to just take in what it's supposed to. And you will see the difference. You will see, you know, what you want to see. You will see the weight come off because, you know, certain things that we've talked about uh, takes care of visceral fat and that's fat around the organs around the stomach around the waist and so uh, I'm so I'm, I have to give my uh, shout out to my sister Phyllis she has been she has started you know uh, since we've been doing this she started walking 
and so it depends on the weather and yesterday we talked and, and the weather wasn't looking too good and she wasn't for sure so she was at home on her stationary bike and that's what it takes it's like once you start giving your body that that little bit of goodness and then it was like oh yeah more 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 and so the more you give it the more it will want and before you know it you'll be on that track to better health and you will see the change in your skin in your you know conditions you know um asthma or acne or um uh, kidneys or you know every everything every aspect of your body god wants us healed and so there's a, a thing in uh, i use a verse a uh, passage in my book and it's about uh the man at the pool of bethesda and so for those of you you know we know the story we've heard it over and over time in church where um <laughs> my sister says i'm sexy now <laughs> uh so we you know everybody gathered around this pool because the angels came down at a certain time and troubled the water and those who could get into the pool were healed and so um jesus you know encountered this man and you know he'd been there for 38 years uh, by the pool and you know and Jesus asked him a simple question is do you know do you want to be healed do you want to be made whole and instead of saying yes he started saying you know he starts giving excuses as to why he had not and so that's what we tend to do sometimes it's like you know we know that we should do this but okay yeah but you know I work all the time or I got these kids or you know uh, it's hard because you know there's temptation or my family won't do it or you know we can always find reasons why but the thing about it is is we have to be accountable for ourselves so that's my my uh, I didn't want to that's my tidbit that's my my uh, my gift to you i won't even say a soapbox that's my gift to you that's my love to you is for us to go down this health journey together um, and for us to see results and for us to get better and better because there is there is so much to do for the kingdom because there are so many lost souls out there and no one person can reach them. No few people can reach them. There are, are millions of people probably reaching the gospel, but there is always room for one more. And your gospel is not going to look like another person's gospel. You have to give people the gospel that God has given you. And it could be kindness. It could be compassion. It could be helpfulness. You know, um, with me, it's, it's sharing. It's sharing the word. It's sharing the health information and so and that's you know that's my ministry so there is so much you know people they you know a lot of people know you if you look at your facebook and see how many friends facebook friends you have it's like you know all these people and what kind of influence are you being on them and if you're looking and you are a head of a ministry or you are a pastor um, and your health is is declining, your health is not the best, then, you know, your, your flock will follow. What is, you know, some of them will have their own way, but then some of them, they're, they won't, they need that in, uh, to be inspired. They need to be encouraged. They need to see, you know, you promoting health by being healthy yourself. I've seen so many, you know, overweight pastors um, here of late there, you know, a few of them, some of them are, you know, trying to stay in shape or whatever, but, you know, for the most part, growing up, it's just like, and then here, you know, past is you just see, you know, people feeding their pastors chicken dinners, cakes and pies, and, you know, and they're, and they're sitting under everybody's table or, or grabbing plates and stuff. And, um, and it's just, you know, it's just not a good thing. Like I said, it's challenging. It's going to be difficult at times, but it's so worth it. God is up there cheering us on. He wants so much better for us than we want for ourselves. So we just have to, we just have to hunker down and we just have to say, okay, Lord, you know, pray, you know, that, that should be, you know, your daily prayer or, you know, pray three times a day or whatever and say, Lord, I just need your help. You know, I really desire this. I really want this choice over that choice, but I just can't do it by myself. I need God will, not just willpower, but I need God's power. So anyway here i go ranting and ranting but i pray that you got something out of that uh, nina says my stationary bike and my body glove dance moves videos 
are on are my go-to every morning very good even if it's only for 10 15 minutes yes and that's the thing like when I was you know going to the gym and I would I was going to work and I had to be at work at the same time I would just go in the gym like 10 minutes 15 minutes and then I would leave or if I did it after work and had to go to like choir rehearsal or dance rehearsal afterwards I go in there you know I 10 15 minutes and then I'm out and but just being consistent is the key you know you don't have to do a whole lot don't feel like you have to exercise 30 minutes or you know like they say you know uh, exercise 30 minutes three times a week well you can work up to that but what if you're not there right now it's okay your body wants something as I, I always try to I say of late <laughs> a whole a little bit of something is better than a whole lot of nothing and it's better than a whole lot of excuses so just you know do what you can do even if it's five minutes it's more than you have been doing and and so the more you do the more you'll do so we've talked about uh, holy basil and oh I know that is uh, the I was trying to remember the herb that was had the cinnamon and we were like nobody had heard of it and it was basil cinnamon basil and I actually found the plant uh, I haven't I didn't purchase it but I went online and Walmart actually has cinnamon basil and so that may be something that you know you want to just get a little plant um, maybe start your little herb garden you know uh, at your kitchen window or somewhere and um, or on your patio on your balcony start your little herb garden and uh, and just you know experiment but yeah the cinnamon basil Walmart I don't know who else has it but it's not like um, it's like in their garden section so it's something that like you know like little plants um, Uh, that's a little bit of something is only applicable to your health <laughs> uh, yeah it well it depends on the the good things the good things in life the good things in life miss Nina so we talked about the different types of basil uh, sweet basil Greek basil cinnamon lettuce and Thai basil and so um, these basil has vitamins a K uh, calcium, iron, magnesium, uh, manganese, and so all of that is good for your immune system, your vision, your um, your uh, heart health, your kidneys. Uh, you know that vitamin K is good for your bone. It's good for your brain health. It's good for your heart. Calcium. We always associate calcium with the bones. Um, iron. You know, with blood, iron is good for blood and uh, manganese improves um it's for people who have migraines sometimes manganese is good for you it's good for depression um and it's good for blood pressure so uh, that is basil ginseng ginseng is called the immune booster and that's something that you know i've really been promoting is you know get your immune system up eat foods drink things that you know support your immune system and now that you know states are beginning to open it up um and people are begin to be freer now then we certainly need um to keep our immune system um up because we just never know people could be you know walking around with COVID-19 and not know it and so unknowingly spreading things and so we just still want to be very cautious about social distancing um, and you know just be sure of people and so yeah so um, just keep your keep that immune system up it it's also ginseng is a brain booster um, it aids in weight loss it improves lung function it helps another thing that it helps uh, lower your blood sugar level and it gives you energy it's good for people who have type 2 diabetes because it helps with your blood sugar level people who have menopausal symptoms um, it's good for that so either whether you're drinking it in a tea or whether you're taking it as a supplement or you're using it uh, in you know some culinary dish it is good for menopausal um, for menopausal relief um, so some cautions so it may act as a stim stimulant 
because uh, some people who are on medication, it depends on, you know, what kind of medication you're on. And as always, you know, like I said, God's food is medicine. And Hippocrates, 2,000 years ago, he, he, was, he was on it when he said, um, all disease begins in the gut. But he just, in another quote that he says, he says, let medicine be thy food. And so that's what we need uh, is it's and it's a medicine that we can just take on a regular basis daily and we don't have to worry about you know uh, take this three times a day or four times a day or at bedtime or before you eat anything or anything like that you know with God medicine you just take it you just you can take it you know in a supplement form with more concentrated or you know if you want to do that just start cooking with it just finding recipes and so I will post, I posted a lot of recipes the other day. Um, and so uh, just look out on the page. I'm gonna start doing that on a regular basis so that you can get some ideas. And also, as always, I recommend that you go and you visit sites. Um, and I said vegan sites and vegetarian sites. But then also, even when you're visiting those sites, really check the ingredients and how they cook because they're necessarily just because they're vegan or vegetarian that necessarily mean they're healthy so just really look for something that's going to promote your health and going to promote what you're trying to do in uh, getting uh, your body in and your gut in balance okay so then we've talked about eucalyptus and look eucalyptus is something that um, Phyllis has said that when she started using it that you know she was having trouble smelling and it just opened things up for her and she was really able to to see a difference in you know and her smelling eucalyptus is good for rep uh, respiratory issues such as coughs sore throats um, getting fling or uh, nasal congestion mucus buildup it's good for all of the, the, the cold and, and virus and stuff. It's good for bronchitis. Um, it's good if you have like sinus headaches. Um, it's good for that. Um, eucalyptus is good for that. And so with eucalyptus, you can take it and you can just maybe like take the, the fresh plant and rub it in your hand and just smell it. Or uh, there's eucalyptus oil, uh, essential oil. And uh, so, uh, or you can, you know, boil it. There's eucalyptus tea. Is good for uh, asthma symptoms also. So um, let's see what else um, is good for skin health. Eucalyptus leaf can be used to make an extract that has healing affection uh, effects when applied to the skin or sensitive skin. So it increases the moisture in your skin and creates a protective barrier. So that is awesome for eucalyptus. Uh, ginger a lot of us like ginger uh, sometimes we've experienced if we've gone to like a Chinese or a Japanese restaurant they have like the pickled ginger and that's because it's good for digestion uh, it is good for circulation it helps to get your um, the nutrients and oxygen uh, throughout your body it's anti-inflammatory so it's good for if you have if you're bothered with anything that causes inflammation and most diseases have some kind of form of inflammation so you just want to make sure that if you know if you have an herb or spice or you know that's made into a tea or you've added it in your culinary dishes you know just make sure like be um, Eat on purpose, not, you know, purpose, just don't purpose to eat. Eat on purpose, meaning, you know, find, find things that are going to be good for you and make those your ingredients and make that your go-to instead of, you know, the things that um, are good to you. Just do uh, the things that are good for you. Uh, it good, it's good for nausea and it's also good for, ginger is also good for your immune system. So you can do dried ginger, pickled ginger, preserved ginger, uh, crystallized ginger. I've never, if has anybody ever heard of crystallized ginger? Um, I've never heard of that before or seen it. Uh, you can do ground ginger as a spice and then uh, ginger oil uh, as an essential oil. Okay, so we are going to wrap it up for now. We're going to, that's what we're going to talk about today on What's the Herb Thursday. I pray that you got some nuggets, uh, whether it was through the Word of God or through the, um, the uh, benefits of some of the herbs that we uh, reviewed today. So anything else tomorrow is 
Friday. So it is, Frank, uh, we won't be on Facebook. We will be Zooming. So if you would like to Zoom with us, same time, 1030, then uh, send me a message by text or by messenger and let me know and I will send you the link to our Zoom sessions. And we also um, will have tomorrow evening, we'll have the evening Zoom, same thing. And uh, so just either one or you can join both if you're available, just say I want to do both Zooms or you can tell me the times, whether it's 10.30 a.m. or 6 uh, p.m. if you want to join us for Zoom. In the evening, uh, we do, um, we do, we're still working on the Blessings on Blessing Bounce. And so we'll probably do that uh, also on the morning Zoom. And then, so if you want to get a couple of practices in, then join us at both times. And then we'll have um, sign language with Sharita. And then we'll have a, um, okay, Miss D, I'll be looking for you. Uh, and then we'll have uh, the uh, debrief with uh, Miss, Miss Nina. And so tonight, this is Thursday, so every Thursday, 6.30, it's uh, Nina B. She will be live. Just look up her name on Facebook, on our Facebook page. It's Nina Drake, D-R-A-K-E. And so come into her live. She's always talking. Uh, to Today's topic is wisdom versus foolishness. Now, that in itself should get you jump on tonight. <laughs> wisdom versus foolishness foolishness i promise you you will be blessed uh so just stop by tonight on nina b's live and we will be she will be teaching us and we will be commenting on uh foolishness versus wisdom versus foolishness because we know that there's a lot of both and we need to know the difference because sometimes foolishness can disguise itself as wisdom and the person who's doing it really believe that it's wisdom so We'll talk about that tonight. Uh, Saturday is Spicy Saturday. So we'll be talking about a spice. And then on Sunday, we will Zoom on Sunday. And we'll be talking about Christians and yoga. That's our topic uh, for Sunday is Christians and yoga. So until next time, this is Jetty Taylor Robinson, health coach, founder, and steward for Taylor's Holistic Approach Ministries, wishing you a very blessed day. May God continue to protect you. May God continue to um, encourage you within your heart that this is right, this is good, and it's time. Love you. Thank you for your love and your support. Keep praying. God bless.